welcome back to my channel. I have a super fun and unique video for you today. I'm going to be spilling the tea, as some people like to say, on bangs, having bangs, pros and cons of bangs, if I like bangs, and more importantly, what I think about bangs and if I would get them again if I recommend them. If you are someone who has been thinking about getting bangs for a while, then I hope this video will be super helpful for you. Let's start with my history of bangs first. I had bangs when I was like super little, but I feel like didn't we all? And have not had bangs pretty much my whole life. I've not had bangs. I've had long straight hair. So for the past few years, I have been wanting to either chop my hair off like completely or get straight across bangs. And I have been debating it for a while and I got to a point where I just needed a change, needed to do something fun. So I was home back in the States for a little bit and on my last day there, I decided to cut straight across bangs. I didn't tell Wayne, didn't tell anyone actually. Um, surprised my whole family, surprised my husband and it was pretty, <laughs> It was pretty fun and I felt very um, like free, like I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the cons first and then the pros after. The first con would be that bangs are high maintenance and this is probably like a duh to a lot of you. But to me, like I didn't really know what went into having bangs because I've never had them before. And I think I was just a little bit naive on like just how much you have to do to make them look good and constantly look good. So my second con is that because they are constantly touching you, constantly in your eyes, you find yourself constantly touching your bangs, constantly fixing them, repositioning them, shaking them out, fluffing them, doing whatever you have to do to make them look good. This led me to touch my bangs a lot, which in return made them my third con super greasy. It was so frustrating because I like to go long periods of time without washing my hair and don't freak out. Not like that long, but like three or four days maybe. I would still of course jump in and rinse off my body, but I did not have to wash my hair very often. I used dry shampoo and my hair kind of lasted about three to four days without needing a wash. And that all changed when I had bangs. So I found myself a lot of times just getting my bangs wet underwater and scrubbing the scalp right near my bangs with soap and rinsing it out. So instead of washing your whole hair, you do have to wash your bangs quite a bit because of how greasy they get. And let me just also throw in there, I have super dry skin, so I thought that my bangs wouldn't get that greasy because I have dry skin, so like, I'm not just full of grease like on my hands, on my face, it's super dry. Well, no, no, that didn't change the fact at all that you still, whether you're dry or not, you still have really greasy hands and face. So my fourth con is that because you're touching your hair so much and it gets so greasy that you end up breaking out way more than you normally do. I really never break out maybe one little spot like around the time of the month but that's pretty much it. And since having bangs I have a ton of texture. It's not really like a pimple like it's not that far it's just texture I have a ton of little bumps now on my forehead under my bangs and that is honestly probably my biggest like ugh, cringing moment because I have never struggled with my skin before so I'm kind of at a loss on like what to do my skin's just always been easy I guess and I haven't ever really had to pay attention to the products I'm putting on my skin or what I'm putting in my body and it how the how it's affecting my skin if that makes sense and now I'm gonna have to pay attention to that and I think the biggest thing is because with bangs you're constantly touching them yes but keep in mind you're also spraying hairspray on them dry shampoo you're brushing them a lot which could irritate your skin 
so it definitely affects your skin in ways that you don't think it would. Last con is kind of um, depending upon your hair type. So it is that you have to get your bangs cut a lot. So for me, my hair grows actually pretty quickly and having bangs showed me that. I always kind of knew it grew quickly, but now I really know because within the first week of having my bangs cut, I had to trim them twice. And whether that was because they were growing or just the fact that they were bothering me, so I cut them shorter, I'm not really quite sure. But I do know that throughout the first like month and a half of me wearing um, straight bangs, I did have to cut them a few times because I noticed they would start to pop me right in the eye and before they didn't do that. So definitely just keep that in mind. If you're not comfortable cutting your hair by yourself, then just know that you will have to make several trips to the haircut salon, the hair salon, the hair salon, and you'll need trims. But for me, I'm comfortable cutting my hair so I was just able to brush them out with a little comb and then trim them a little bit. So now heading into pros, I will say my biggest pro and probably the number one thing I love about having bangs is that they make me feel more feminine. I think this is because since I have to do them, I have to style them, I have to curl them, straighten them, do whatever style you prefer that makes me feel like I did something with my hair and that I am more put together because my hair is also done. So I am currently growing my hair out to chop it off and donate it to a wig. So I am kind of just so sick of it right now. It's so long, it's so hard to do anything with. So most days I do just throw it up in a pony or throw it up in a bun and just let it hopefully grow because <laughs> it has to be very long to get to a wig so grow baby grow <laughs> for the past few years honestly I've just find that I'm so annoyed with my hair I don't even want to style it anymore so I either put it up in a pony or a bun and this makes me feel weird because I love my hair. My hair is like a big part of myself, kind of my identity. I love styling it. And so when all of a sudden I wasn't wanting to style it anymore and I was just wanting to get it off my face, I felt like it became a hassle more than like an attribute of mine that I actually loved. And now I have the best of both worlds because I can throw my hair back and not really worry about it and still have all the pieces that are framing my face in down that still make me feel very feminine, very put together, and very um, presentable, I guess, even though my hair's just like tossed up in a pony. My second pro is that I feel like bangs make my hair look and feel fuller and I think this is just because you have a lot of texture around your face where before all my hair was one length so it looked and felt very shaggy and just like bleh almost. <laughs> bleh? Yeah, bleh. My third pro is that straight across bangs hid my forehead wrinkles. <laughs> And a lot of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's such a crazy thing to worry about. But I notice all the time the expressions I make, how I'm making them. With Straight Across Bangs, I didn't even have to worry about that anymore. And I found myself like truly enjoying the texture that it gave me and kind of the spontaneity it gave me too. My last pro is that it makes me feel older and this again is just something so personal. It's just something that's kind of lingered over me for a little bit. I'm sure you have one of those things too, but I've always just felt and looked super young. So whether I look older, I'm not sure. Don't tell me, just let me believe it because I truly feel older with bangs and so that is a huge pro in my eyes. So those are my pros and my cons and I had a few more 
tips, I guess, that I wanted to mention about bangs that don't really fit into a pro or a con. So let's jump into the tips now. My first tip is to find a stylist that you truly love and trust. One of my friends cut my bangs just in her kitchen. She is my all-time favorite and she is an amazing hairstylist so she really worked with me to make sure I got the bangs and the texture that I wanted bangs are huge y'all like if you cut them too short too long to this way to that way it can truly change your experience with bangs so I feel like for the first time I chose a amazing person to cut my bangs and that is one of the biggest tips I can tell you too is find someone you trust. There's two things I want to tell you just to remind you before you get bangs is one you will probably be traveling with a brush in your pocket in your purse. I find myself a lot whipping my brush out and brushing them fixing them and so you probably will be too. <laughs> and the second one is that your bangs have to be trained. This one is hard for me because I am still learning it. Uh, two months later, my hair does not want to change from its OG, <laughs> OG format, OG layout. I don't know. So basically, as you can tell, my hair parts right here. So when I have straight across bangs, this hair over here will not come this way. It just stays over here. So my bangs end up having this huge gap right here because these hairs will not listen to me and go over. So that's kind of the biggest reason why I've ended up styling my hair this way because my hair just doesn't listen. Whether I blow dry it, whether I straighten it, whether I've literally pulled this hair over and pinned it to try to get it to listen, it just does not listen. They do what they want and I'm just kind of like the backseat driver just listening to see what they want to do that day. <laughs> And my last reminder and probably the biggest reminder tip that I could tell you that you could take away from this whole video is the texture of your hair matters. I strongly consider if you do have textured hair, especially curly hair, to think about getting bangs because when your hair is cut shorter, if you have curly hair, most likely your curls are going to get tighter where your bangs are because you don't have the weight of your hair to pull out the curl. Definitely going to be more tricky to style your hair. More steps are going to be needed to get it to the point where you want it to be. Well, I think that is it, you guys. That is my pros and cons and tips to having straight across bangs. Overall, I would say I truly do love the bangs. I prefer them more styled like so to the side. So I guess more side bangs. But I have really loved the confidence they've given me. And I love when I style them and how it makes me feel a little older. And so I think that bangs for me was a huge thumbs up overall. But definitely let me know down in the comments if you have bangs and what you think about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you more insight onto whether you should get bangs or not. And this video is especially good for me because I know there's going to be one day where I'm going to think about getting bangs again. And I will definitely rewatch this and make a more calculated decision on whether or not I should get bangs. But like I said, overall, I have been loving them and... I think all the pros kind of outweigh the cons for me. I know it's different for a lot of you, but for me, I've truly loved them. So it was a good, was that even a wink? <laughs> so bangs was a good decision for me. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up. And please leave a little note down in the comments letting me know if you have bangs. I feel like not a lot of people have bangs anymore, so I can't be the only one out there. I need some more friends with bangs. <laughs> so let me know if you have bangs, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. God bless.